What's going on everybody, this is Karak Code, and welcome to Topic Talk number 4, and in this episode, I'll be showing you guys on how to edit and render your videos for YouTube with Sony Vegas Pro 12. Now before we go ahead and get started, I would like to thank GGamer on this topic. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to talk about or show, go ahead and comment below and you could be featured on my next video. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, before we get started, uh, you guys will need two programs, Vegas Pro 12 and Handbrake. Now most of you guys are probably thinking, whoa, wait a minute, Vegas Pro 12 is very expensive, I can't afford that. Well, if you pause the video and look in the description, you guys can see I set up a video on how to get Sony Vegas Pro 12 absolutely free without paying a cent. Uh, so make sure you guys have those two downloaded and it will really, really help. Also, before we get started, you guys make sure that whatever video you recorded is on your desktop so it's much easier. So I'm going to quickly open my fraps and put my video on the desktop. So if you have fraps, go ahead and open that up and click on movies and click view. You do not have to have fraps, but just make sure your video is on the desktop. Now most of you guys wonder why do you have to render videos. Let me explain to you guys on why. If you right click on your video and click on properties, you do realize the size is 639 megabytes and that's only a 13 second clip. That is a massive size amount. You cannot upload this to YouTube, it'll take you forever. And if you have like a 5 minute video, that'll be like 10 gigs. So I'm going to show you guys on how to uh, cut that down. So go ahead and open up Vegas Pro 12 and I'll explain to you guys on what to do. So you guys are looking at the screen. Uh, you might be confused, but don't worry. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll explain to you guys on what to do. The first thing you want to do is click on your properties. So you guys should see this thing, project video properties. Go ahead and click that. Now you should get a pop-up and go ahead and pause this video and make sure you match your settings with mine. So make sure the template is on custom, 1920 by 1080 uh, width is 1920 by 1080 frame rate is 29.920, and make sure your rendering quality is on best. That's very, very important, and that's all you guys got to do. So go ahead and click on OK, and then apply. Now you guys are gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that this is on best parentheses full. Uh, what this does is it makes sure that your preview is on high quality so you guys can see what you're looking at uh, in default it will be on preview half you must make it on best full so go ahead and do that now we're going to go ahead and import a file so go ahead and click on import media next to the thunderbolt and click on your clip and click open next go ahead and simply drag it onto the timeline you'll see a pop up just go ahead and click yes if you want to match your media settings now you should see your video uh, nice and clear, just like that. But now we're going to go ahead and show you guys how it looks like. So this is my video. It's a 13 second clip, uh, just for an example. You guys can see. Now you guys must do this. This is very, very, very important. Please listen carefully. Click on your video on the timeline once, and then right click on it. So right click on it, and you guys are going to go ahead and click on properties now you must uncheck maintain aspect ratio and click disable resample this is very very important if you do not do this your video will be blurry and ghostly like on youtube and it will look horrible so make sure you do that next we're gonna go ahead and add some effects so let's go ahead and right click and click on video event fx then click on sony color curves what we're going to do now is just make the video look a little bit more brighter and nicer. Uh, this is what a lot of people use on their montages, so watch this. If you guys click on the dot, click drag up, you can see that the video is a little bit brighter. And if you want a little bit of a darker scheme, just drag it down a bit. So you guys can see it's a very big difference. The video looks so much better like this. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you. This is how it looks like. Very, very nice. Um, I don't do this so much, but occasionally I will do this. Uh, like on my Combat Arms montage I did a very long time ago, I, I used this thing. And yeah, so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like without it. So that's with and without and with. So you guys can see uh, there is a big difference. Now what we're going to do is add some fading in and fading out to this clip. So go ahead and uh, scroll with your mouse and you guys should see an arrow a fade and offset go ahead and click and drag that to the right 
uh, make it as however long you want. I put 16. Do the same thing with the other side. Click and drag. And there you go. Now you should have a fade effect. Check it out. It fades in. And at the end of the video, it'll fade out. So let's go ahead and wait for it. And I died right here. Oh, I know I didn't. My bad. <laughs> okay. And here's a fade out. And that's about it. See how cool that is? I'm not going to get into so many red, uh, editing and stuff like that. You guys can check other YouTube videos for that. But now we're going to render. Go ahead and click render as. I uh, should see a little green icon. Uh, go ahead and click that. And now we're going to render our video. I'm going to show you guys the best possible settings. First, make sure these two boxes are unchecked. Now, you guys should see a lot of uh, selections. You guys are going to scroll all the way down and make sure you select Windows Media Video. WMV. This is very important. Go ahead and click the black arrow down and you should see an option called 8 megabytes per second HD 1080p 30p video. Go ahead and click that and click customize template. Now what you guys are going to do is uh, on audio leave everything normal and click on video. For mode uh, make sure it's on CBR. Leave it at CBR. Format Windows Media 9 and image size click on custom and type in 1920 for the width and make sure the height's on 1080. This makes it 1080p quality. For pixel aspect ratio, change this to uh, 1000 square. Very, very important. You must do that or your video will have black bars on the side. On your video smoothness, go ahead and drag that all the way to 100. And there you go. Now click on bitrate tab and you should see here called internet slash LAN. Change AM to 25. On index and summary, leave everything alone. And on project, what you guys are going to do is set the video rendering quality the best and there you have it now we're going to go ahead and save our template first rename the template to whatever you want i'm going to go ahead and call this render settings and then go ahead and uh, click save template and there you have it and just click ok now you guys can click the star and make it gold and just check show favorites only and there's your render settings and go ahead and click on render and that's about it guys congratulations on your rendering uh, it's now starting it could take a very long time it depends on your computer my computer is not so fast so it did take me like about two minutes uh, in average a video takes me about an hour to render or two hours but if it takes long for you don't worry just wait it out or just lower your render settings if you have to but this is the best settings possible Alright guys, so once the rendering is done, you can go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and click on open when it's finished. And there you go. And you guys can see, voila, this is the video. Hey, looks cool. And yeah, so now we're going to change uh, something with the video. After it's done rendering, you guys are going to open handbrake. But first, let's go ahead and close Vegas Pro. Uh, you can save it if you want to, but I choose not to. Um, yeah. Oh, and here's the video, Untitled, it should be called Untitled. You can go ahead and trash your other video. And yeah, now let me show you something. If you right click and click on Properties, you guys can see a big size difference. It's on 48 megapixels now, well, megabytes now, sorry. This is very, very, very good. Um, that's what you're supposed to have so you can easily upload it to YouTube. But anyways, go ahead and open up Handbrake, and we're going to have to change this video into an MP4 file. Uh, so go ahead and click on Source and click on open file and click your video mine's called entitled and on destination click on browse and then you guys are gonna click on desktop and just type in the file name I'm gonna put YouTube video and click save then click start now most of you guys are like what is the purpose of this the reason is um, for YouTube when you upload WMV videos it tends to be very very buggy and glitchy there was a big glitch on YouTube with WMV videos and I believe it's no longer supported uh, so we're gonna change it to an mp4 but do not worry you do not lose any uh, quality it all remains the same you just change the format and you shrink the file size which is pretty nice so watch if you guys click the video same exact quality the only difference is a uh, mp4 file what most youtubers upload on YouTube and what's highly recommended so look again if we let me go ahead and trash this video we don't need this no more but this mp4 file if you guys go ahead and right click and click on properties you can see it's 32 megabytes so it shrunk even more and it will make it very easier to upload on YouTube and yeah that's about it um, I really really hope this tutorial helped you guys um, I really put a lot of time into it 
please click like, uh, drop a comment below, and it would be so awesome if you guys can subscribe. I really hope I helped you guys out. And again, if you guys have a topic you want me to talk about, go ahead and comment below and you could be featured on my next video. I'm Karakode, thanks for watching, and have an awesome YouTube career.